since we're on the topic of financial literacy, like it's so important and it's able to get people out of cycles that maybe they've been in for generations. F financial literacy could be the difference between how they live before and then creating that generational wealth for their Absolutely. family. And it's such a, I was having a conversation with one of my friends not too long ago actually. There's so much like, don't talk about money mm -hmm. with people. There's What's so your salary? Shame. Like, yeah. Yes. There's so much shame attached to it and it's like, shame loves people who are quiet because mm -hmm. that's where the shame grows and, and that's if you are quiet you're not going to get the help and you're not going to get the resources and the support that you may need so I think we should talk about money more mm -hmm. and you know it's it's important to and I think that once you put it out into the ether you're, you're you free yourself from that mm -hmm. and because it holds so many people back that's so true and I feel like we're really in the era of that like there's shame around mental health that was so stigmatized, like yes. LGBTQ was so stigmatized, like money should be in that group where it's something that in the past was so shameful for us, but we should bring it to the light because there's nothing shameful about it. Like through talking to each other is how we learn, how we get better and how we see that you're not alone. Like right. other people are going through this and we can help each other get out of it. Right. Yeah, it's like people are afraid to show their budgets or like I was asked, mm -hmm. how much money do you spend on food? I'm like, you don't want to know. But I'm like, actually, let me tell you how much yeah. money I spend on food. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think the more we talk about it, the more we normalize it mm -hmm. and, and then we can grow from it. Absolutely.